Hey guys, welcome back to Dextroy and in this video we're going to look at my Galaxy as it's setup and how you can also get the same setup on your phone. So a lot of you guys have requested me to make a tutorial on how to get the same setup as on my S8 Plus. So in the tutorial, I will show you how to get the same look as on my S8 Plus. And these are all the apps that I use to get this setup on my phone. So in the next few minutes, you will be able to turn your phone from this to this. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and open the Noah Launcher and set up the Noah Launcher. Now, if it doesn't open the Noah Launcher on the home screen, then tap on the Noah Launcher again. It should now open. Now, what you have to do is you need to go to settings and you can download the uh, settings backup file and import it directly. And you don't have to follow the tutorial or you can just follow along the video and follow the tutorials and all the steps so you can also customize and learn from this and of course you need to set the Noah launcher as a default uh, launcher from here once that's done go ahead and remove all the unnecessary things from the home screen and also remove the icons that you don't like to have there and put the icons that you want okay so once you have arranged everything on your home screen go ahead and press here and go to settings now go to desktop, desktop grid and increase the grid size to 7 and then done. Now go to icon layout, keep the icon size to that, disable the label. Now go back and go back again. Now go to app drawer and same for the app drawer. Go to icon layout, disable the label. Go back and you can also change the background color as per your liking, but I always prefer to use the black color. And then enable fast scroll, I would like to put the accent as blue. Search bar, I will disable it. Pull to search, disable. And swipe to open. You want to enable this you can also enable this now go to dock and dock background you can change the settings here but i would keep i would just keep it to the default settings now go to look and feel and from here choose the icon pack and you can also turn on the double tap to sleep feature from gestures and input uh, go here and tap on double tap then choose the action as a screen lock and that's it now go ahead and go back here now you can also change the icons here if you like to or leave it to default like I'm gonna change the icon for the app drawer go here to Delta and search app drawer and I will choose this one so that's it you can also arrange them down there and when you double tap it it will give you three options as I'm as I'm rooted so I will choose the root you can choose the other options once that's done you can also go ahead and enable the Tesla on red here Make sure that you have chose all the apps that want that you want to show notifications for and then go to settings and go to notification badges uh, choose the one that you like 
I prefer numeric batches and then I prefer the top position here and I will choose the border to black transparency equals to zero um, text is gonna be white badge is gonna be black as well and that's it you can choose small or medium i will keep it too small now we have to set up the wallpaper so for wallpaper i'm gonna go to the zero app the wallpaper i use is the power savvy wallpaper uh, go to settings and go to zoom you can also you know change the settings from here and then to set the wallpaper that's it and it's done looks cool right so now we are going to install the black theme using substratum so go to substratum and to the swift black team skip this now from here you can choose two samsung s8 or samsung s8 aosp i will choose aosp now toggle this to select all now make sure that you also choose the version here that's it now go here and select install now you have to manually install all the overlays and the first that is system overlay is a placeholder so it will fail so don't worry about that Okay, once that's done, you can see the changes here. Well, if you don't see any changes, then what you have to do is you need to restart your phone. Okay, once you restart your phone, now you can see the changes all over your phone. Black theme has been installed. And you can also see the nav navigation bar style has been changed too. And if you want to have the same navigation bar style as I am using, then you need to, then you need to install the Samsung Nav Core team. Just apply it. And go ahead and restart your phone. Well, if that doesn't work, then what you need to do is you need to open the Substratum app again. And then go to Swift Black or whatever theme you're using. Then of course choose your version here. Now you need to uninstall the system UI because this is conflicting between those two themes. So now go ahead and uninstall the system UI of this team so that the nav port uh, team will work. Now restart your phone again. Now to install the widgets, all you have to do is need to go to widgets and scroll down to the end, swipe until the end and then choose the four inches two widget and then tap on the widget then choose the skin which is unity widgets 2 and you need to find the one that i am using or you can choose the one you like from lots of skins here okay so the one i use is the uni12 widget you can choose here and then scroll down and increase the scaling so it fits the screen here perfectly And that's it. Should have made it there. And the second widget that I use is you have to do the same thing again. Now near somewhere uh, the older widget, you can scroll up and you will find the widget that I'm using in my second home screen. 
Now you can also, you know, increase the scaling so that it fits in the frame. And to change the uh, profile image there, all you have to do is you need to go to layout and then go to bitmap. Then go to bitmap and choose a circular cropped image. And now I, what I like to do is that increase its scale so that it fits completely in the circle. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to add a name below it. So for that, you need to go back and here tap on the plus icon, uh, choose text, and then scroll down and edit text manually. And here, just write your name. Now you need to adjust its position. Um, somewhere here now to change the font scroll down and click on font family and choose the one that you like I'm gonna increase its font size as well and adjust the position again and that's it And the last thing you can also do that I use to open my phone, all I do is press here and it opens up my phone. So for that, all you have to do is you need to go to settings and then you can just search for uh, navigation, navigation bar. And then here you will find a setting which says unlock with home button, enable this and increase the sensitivity to maximum so that you don't have to press your phone harder. And that's it. Now you will be able to unlock your phone just by pressing somewhere in the home area like this. It's really easier to do than, you know, touching the fingerprint sensor or using the iris scanner or typing the pin if you don't use any security unlock feature. This is just simple. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if it did then give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and I will see you in the next one, peace.